This is for me. Hello, my name is Ebony Usuru Brown, and I'd like to talk about a topic that is rarely addressed, mental load. Every day, women fulfill many roles, workers, mothers, motivators, organizers, entertainers. The list is endless. And while we might love all these roles, sometimes things can get overwhelming. I think every woman can relate to that, even if you've never heard of the expression mental load before. To be more precise, mental load is a term for the invisible labour involved in managing a household, family, a social and working life. The constant feeling of responsibility for keeping track of all the different tasks in our day-to-day -day lives never ends. We feel the need to maintain a to-do list in our heads and don't give ourselves the break we often need and deserve. Despite progression within society, Oftentimes, the distribution of roles is still unequal and women deal with a larger mental load. The constant pressure of balancing the different roles causes imbalances and can have a negative impact on our well-being. The imbalance leads to a lack of energy and time, which is incredibly exhausting for the body. As a result, Mental load takes a toll on both the mental and physical performance. I am a professional netball player for the English national women's netball team. One of my most significant achievements is winning gold in the 2018 Commonwealth Games against the home favourites, Australia. My success has not protected me from experiencing the pressures of mental load myself. In particular, I felt a shift when I became a mum a few months ago. As wonderful as it is to be a mother, it can be overwhelming at times. Naturally, your focus turns to your baby and his or her needs become all you care about. Finding time for physical movement can quickly land at the bottom of our to-do list, although it plays a significant role in counterbalancing the mental load we experience. Having the possibility to exercise has had a very positive effect on my mental health. It helps me find the balance I need. Sport is a perfect outlet to de-stress, clear my head, and in my case, get a fresh look at parenting. Taking care of yourself is essential to easing the mental load we as women experience. So I encourage you to get up, get outside, and get your body moving. I know it can be pretty tough to find time in a packed schedule, for me personally, creating a plan and working towards small milestones is really helpful. These measurable targets make it more digestible and realistic than directly going from zero to 100. What works for me may not work for you, but remember that even any and even small amounts of movement can be good and can help ease your mental load. Start by taking small steps and then progressively build up to your own goals. The main thing is to make an effort and get started. I motivate myself by laying out my ASICS gym wear and trainers the night before. So there's no excuses, just me in my own time and a space of my choosing. I end every training session with a cool down. Let me show you three easy cool down exercises from this routine. They help relax your body and your mind. Let's start with our hip flexors. Our hip flexors are a group of muscles near the top of our thighs and are key players in moving our lower body. If our muscles are too tight, the hip flexor can stretch or even tear. By doing this exercise, we can help keep them loose and prevent injuries. Put your left foot on the floor with your left knee at a 90 degree angle. Drive your hip forward. Hold the position for 30 seconds. Then switch to the other side. The second exercise is called thread the needle. This exercise helps us release tension and prevent pain or stiffness in our neck. Position yourself onto all fours with your hands directly under your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Lift your right hand slowly and slowly thread it under your left arm with your palm facing up. 
Rest your body on your right shoulder and turn your head to the left. Make sure you're not sinking onto your shoulder. Hold this pose for 30 to 60 seconds. Slowly release and come back to the original position. Repeat on the opposite side. The last exercise is for the back of our thighs and lower back. It's called the hamstring stretch. The hamstrings are a group of muscles located in the back of our thigh, responsible for bending or flexing the knee. Flexible hamstrings support activities like running, walking, and maintaining optimal athletic performance. Stand up straight with one heel resting on a small stack of books or a stool. If you are outside, you can use the curb, but be sure to watch for cars. Keep your knees straight. Reach both arms up towards the place where the wall and the ceiling meet. If you are outside and there is no wall or ceiling, reach up into the air. Your arms should be about even with your ears. Reaching your arms up, as opposed to reaching down towards your foot, will keep your back straight. You should be bending forward slightly from your hips. Reach forward and feel a stretch in your hamstring behind your thigh. Hold the stretch for 30 to 60 seconds and repeat three times. Switch legs and repeat with the other leg. Yes, an effective cool down routine can be this easy. Adding the right movement to your routine can help ease your mental load and help bring you back to a sound mind in a sound body.